Hi, I have a couple questions about the supplement, or this DHA supplement I'm taking. Alright, so what is the reason you're considering taking this medication? Uh, a couple reasons are that I have high cholesterol and blood clotting. Alright, are you currently on any other medications? Uh, no other medications. Alright, well if you decide to take this supplement, you should not go on any blood pressure, blood thinners such as warfarin and Plavix, diabetes medications, or aspirin because they all have interactions with DHA. So what exactly is like DHA made out of? DHA is an omega-3 fatty acid that is found naturally in our bodies. It works along with EPA as an essential nutrient in our cells. It is necessary for healthy skin, eyes, and brain. However, it can also be found in foods. What do you eat on a daily basis? I don't know, stuff like Taco Bell. Well, uh, you might want to consider changing your diet. DHA can be naturally found in foods such as cold water fish, nuts, leafy greens, and breast milk. So, are there any side effects with DHA? Yes, you may experience symptoms such as upset stomach, nosebleeds, loose stool, increased risk of bleeding, and low blood pressure. So these symptoms seem really intense. Should I really like be taking this? Well, DHA is not FDA approved, so before taking it as a supplement, you should consider changing your diet to add more DHA and omega-3 fatty acids naturally. I see. So what if changing my diet doesn't really work? Well then, that's when you should consult your physician for any possible interactions to your health conditions or medications. But if their diagnosis passes, then I suggest you should take the recommended daily value of DHA because it can help with learning, memory, later in life, as well as prevent development of heart disease. Alright, well, thank you so much. I'll go talk with my doctor immediately. You're welcome. If you have any other questions, do not hesitate to ask.